So far on this channel, we've been exploring a lot of ways in which the limit as x approaches some point a of a function x is not always the same thing as the function at a, right? And we could see that with these examples here on screen, right? So in our first graph, we see that our, our limit as we approach a from both the left side and the right side seem to be the same number. They seem to approach f of a. That's what that point is. And so that's what our limit would be. But you notice there's the hole here, this discontinuity. So f of a does not exist on this graph. So we have shown that the limit as x approaches a for f of x is not the same as f of a. And the same is the situation for the second graph, where if we want to look at the limit by eyeballing the graph, we see that, okay, f of a is defined up here at this point, right? There's a hole here where we're discontinuous, but f of a is this point right here. And our limit actually does not exist since the limit from the left side approaches one point and the limit from the right approaches a very different point, right? So in this case, we have a defined function of a, but the limit as x approaches a does not even exist, right? Now let's look at our third graph here. This is going to be something new that we haven't done yet. This is a continuous graph. That's something different about the other two. This one is continuous. There are no discontinuities. And if we look at A as X approaches A from the left side and from the right side, we approach the same point, right? So we can say that the limit exists here. And you might also notice that the limit as we're approaching A in this case is also equal to F of A. It is equal to the function at that point A, right? So here's something that I would like to introduce. If we have, right, so if, and I'm going to write this out. So if f of x is continuous, here, actually, let me, we're going to write this in a, in a different way because this can go both ways. So we are going to say that the limit as x approaches some point a of f of x is equal to f of a if and only if, right? And this is the notation for if and only if, it's if two f's. So the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a if and only if f of x is continuous, is continuous at a. And that makes sense, right, to reiterate our third graph, this one right here, we'll put in a box because it's different. It is continuous at A. There is no discontinuity. So the, and the limit exists from both sides. So our limit as X approaches A is going to be equal to F of A. Now, why is this important? Well, we're not always going to be giving our limits just by eyeballing graphs. Sometimes we might have to substitute into directly into problems. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at something else. We have a situation here. We are looking for the limit as x approaches 1 of 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. We don't have a graph, and we are very used to looking at graphs to find limits on this channel. But don't worry, because 3x squared plus 6x minus 4 is continuous for all x, right? This is just a quadratic expression. It is going to be continuous for all x. This is something we're familiar with, right? So we know that the limit as x approaches 1 is also equal to our function 3x squared plus 6x minus 4 evaluated at x equals 1. So I'm using a lot of terms, not really writing anything down. Let's start writing some stuff down. So again, because we know that this is continuous, because we know that this function here is continuous, well, all we have to do to find the limit is substitute 1 for or x for 1, right? So we'll do 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 4. And then we, this is simple math at this point, 3 times 1 squared is 3, plus 6 times 1 is 6, minus 4 is 4, and then this becomes 9 minus 4, which is equal to 5. So that is what our limit is equal to. Now I just want to accentuate this last point one more time. This only holds, this only holds when our function is continuous at that point A. So this point right here, is something that you should memorize for your calculus courses right here. The limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a if and only if f of x is continuous at a. 
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you learned something.